standard. All right, let's listen to Mayor Rahm Emanuel announcing the firing of the police commissioner. Superintendent Gary McCarthy has been an excellent leader of our police department over the past four and a half years. His community policing strategy has led to the lowest overall crime rate on record, and his efforts to re remove guns from the street have yielded significant progress. But Superintendent McCarthy knows that a police officer is only as effective as when he has the trust of those he serves. Superintendent McCarthy and I began a discussion on Sunday about the direction of the department and the undeniable fact that the public trust in the leadership of the department has been shaken. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we welcome in, as promised, Bernard Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner and former Iraq Interim Minister of the Interior. And, uh, Commissioner, welcome, sir. Happy holidays to you. Thanks, Steve. You too. All right. Now, your reaction to this uh, firing, which, you know, many believe <laughs> if, if anybody should go, it should be Rahm Emanuel himself. He, he uh, hired Gary McCarthy before his inauguration in 2011. You, you know Gary McCarthy very well. I know him. He worked for me. He was the deputy commissioner in charge of uh, the uh, crime, uh, crime statistics uh, bureau uh, when I was the commissioner back in 2000, 2001. Um, he served us well in New York City. Uh, he went on to Newark, and from Newark he went on to Chicago. And as the mayor said, um, he's done a pretty good job in Chicago at reducing their overall crime rate and, and taking a bunch of guns off the streets. Although the crime is still extremely high in Chicago, um, I think a lot of that has to do with the mayor and his inability to give Gary the resources and the tools he needs to do his job. But regardless, uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think more that has to be done than just removing the police superintendent. Right. Uh, I, I want to get to that in a second as well. What what you think needs to be done? But is this a case? Do you believe? Of, I mean, I could almost relate it to Missouri and other places, University of Missouri, where you know uh, the public is demanding this uh, for no real reason. I mean, it, if this was a cover up, as many of the activists and protesters claim. It certainly wasn't the police commissioner covering anything up. The mayor is his boss. If there was a shooting of a 17-year-old, um, you know, and the video wasn't released for a year, that's not the police commissioner. If it's anybody, would it not be the mayor more responsible for that? Well, I think there's two issues, Steve. I, I think the mayor um, is implicit in this as well, but also the county district attorney. Now, keep in mind, this was a police-involved shooting. In a police-involved shooting, you're going to have the Internal Affairs Division, conducts their investigation in conjunction with the rest of the police department but also as in new york city and new york state the county district attorney the state's attorney will conduct their investigation as well as maybe the federal government and in this case the county da conducted their investigation and initiated charges against this officer um when when this tape was actually exposed you can't tell me they didn't know about the tape you can't tell me the mayor didn't know about the tape a year ago. Um, you know, was it was it held as because of this election? Was it? I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what took so long, but somebody should be looking at the county DA, and the mayor has an enormous amount of responsibility here as well. So, would you say that the commissioner is the fall guy here? Well, I think in this case, it's look, it's pretty obvious. I mean, this is this is a political move by the mayor. Um, you know, it's sort of a scapegoat goat issue, and uh, and Gary took the fall. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. I want you to hear something else that Rahm Emanuel said the other day uh, after the video of the shooting was released. Uh, listen to this. But we also have to get to a pay place as a city where officers who patrol communities in our city see a young man not as a potential problem and a risk. But they also see in that young man as an individual who is worthy of their protection and their potential. They see a student, they see an athlete, and they see an artist. I mean, look, I'm the layman and you're the expert, but do you want your cops out there in a city like Chicago or New York, uh, if they're in a high crime area, looking at a, a suspect as, a, as an artist or a student? Or don't the cops have to look at the suspect for what he's a suspect in? Well, see, you have to look at the people of your community for what and who they are. Okay? Um, this wasn't an artist. 
This wasn't a student uh, at the time. Um, this was somebody that the police got called for because he was breaking into cars or stealing stuff. He's somebody that was walking down the street in front of the cops with a knife in his hand, um, and the police took action. Now, the action is definitely, in my opinion, and I've said this, is questionable. Um, that's going to be up to a, a jury of his peers to make a determination. But that being said, um, you know, I think cops every day go out and put their lives on the line for the communities, and they don't look at everybody as a suspect. They don't look at everybody as, as a problem child. But the pro one of the problems is, in areas like Chicago, when you have a, a, a place where 82 people are shot on a weekend, 15 killed, um, that, that's more like a war zone, and you have to go in there, um, you know, for battle. Yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, always great to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Steve, thank you. Bernie Kerrig, ladies and gentlemen, here on the uh, Steve Molesberg Show. And uh, when we come back, actor and author Ray Negron will be here. He was at Donald Trump's um, meeting with the uh, black ministers yesterday. And uh, we'll ask him what went on inside uh, behind those closed doors. That and more with him, including uh, uh, Little Steven, the uh, Bruce Springsteen uh, E Street Band member and actor, will be participating in a, uh, a series about him, Ray Negron. We'll talk about that, too. It's all next. Don't go away.